I first met Monkey Bar with an email, a totally out of the blue email, asking if they could turn Hitler's daughter into a prey, and I thought, they are kidding, this is impossible. We are talking about a book which is about ideas. No action happens until about the last chapter of the book. And the last chapter, you've got, you've got the bombing of Berlin, you've got the forests of Bavaria, and they wanted to put this onto a stage. And I thought, look, okay, I'll say yes. It's going to be an incredi incredible mess. I'll say yes. Let's see what happens. And it wasn't like that at all. It was perhaps the most extraordinary moment of my life. To go into that theatre, to see the book I had written, to see the words I had written, the characters I had created, so entirely transmogrified into something richer, and Go different. On. What's the story going to be about? It's about, it's about Hitler's daughter. The issues in my book were still there, but there were other issues that had been brought out as well. You had this extraordinary scenery where you had simply a bus stop and these skeletons of trees, and they could be anywhere from rural Australia and, and like the bombing of Berlin. It seemed, it seemed impossible, and to my utter surprise, I found myself sitting there with the rest of the audience, with the tears running down my face, and at the end of it, there was this 45 second silence before anyone even cheered or did anything. I thought, I didn't do this. I was a very small part of it. I was like a pat of butter put on the table before the cake is assembled. But, but this was Monkey Bar, this was the theatre.